Okay, welcome to my first uh, recorded playthrough of Kenshi. Uh, in case you've never seen this game before, it's probably one of the best games I've ever played. I'll tell you why. Uh, one thing uh, that I've noticed about it is it offers so many different elements, good elements from different games that I've played over the years that I've really enjoyed, and it seems like it's all combined into one game. And so what I mean by that is, for instance, uh, it, it's sort of like an RTS in the sense uh, where you could build a city if you'd like. Um, you can have workers and miners and farmers and those sort of things like a regular RTS sort of game, maybe like Empire Earth or Age of Empire. However, it also has a role-playing aspect, so sort of like Diablo or Skyrim. Now, the, the item um, system, like how you, you your inventory and... and uh, character uh, backpacks and all that stuff Re it reminds me a lot of like Diablo's kind of each thing is a certain amount of squares that's the size and how much you can carry and everything like that um, and then there's also aspects uh, that remind me of games like Skyrim and Fallout uh, where you can steal and make decisions and the things that you do uh, affect your alignment with other factions and things like that. So before I go into too much detail, you'll see kind of what the game is like. I kind of wanted to explain the type of game mode that I was going here for. So uh, this um, game mode that I want to do, I call it the uh, Ronin. Um, so I've gone with the Holy Sword option for starting the game. So apparently you find this really good sword, you're a bandit of some sort, and uh, or an outlaw, and you find this powerful sword, and I think it belongs to the Holy Nation. I've never done this uh, game mode before, so that's pretty much as much as I know. Now, I wanted to set some sort of boundaries or rules for myself during this game. So he's supposed to be sort of like a chaotic, good, uh, or what is it, chaotic, neutral, or no, 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 not chaotic, like a lawful, neutral kind of character. So I, I, don't, I never really got too much into like the that aspect of role playing I've done more like role playing on video games but so he's kind of like not really a bad guy he's not really a good guy although he wants to do basically the right thing or will will do the right thing given the scenario um some of the limitations that I want to set because of uh that alignment that he has is he's not going to steal or really commit any crimes in terms of like banditry or like killing random people or whatever um he's going to try and just survive, wander the land. The whole point of this is to document uh, a playthrough, to, to kind of like a story. The thing I like about this game is that you don't really have to force RP into it, it's just there because of the things that happen and, you know, you, because of the risk that there is and, and the permadeath aspect and everything. So I'm not sure how long this will last, I'm not sure I could get killed like right off the bat. Um, you pretty much start off, uh, I, at least I know from playing the other game modes, you start off um, not having any skills so yeah anyway I'm gonna go ahead and create this character I kinda wanna give him like a Japanese samurai kind of look he's a uh, you know he's this lone like ronin kind of masterless samurai another limitation that I wanted to set let's give him like a cool stance here yeah seems about well maybe do something that does him a little more justice that's kinda let's see yeah right Okay, maybe we'll go with the crossed arms, that's kind of cool. Do that, give them lighter skin tone. That's about right there. We don't want them to be too tall, we don't want them to be too short. Let's go with, this is about good. Let's see. Just like a normal frame there, average. I'd like them to have good posture. Um, yeah, I want to give them more of like a... Know, he's gonna be kind of like a masterless samurai kind of deal. Oh yeah. Anyway, so another limitation I wanted to set. So in this game, um, so far how that how it's worked into the game is you can have up to 30 members in your faction or squad. Um, so with this one, because he's gonna be kind of like a lone wanderer kind of deal, um, I'm gonna say no more than one companion at a time. And I might make exceptions to that. Uh, based off of like, you know, if it makes for more interesting gameplay, like if I'm traveling with a companion and then we meet some guy in the wilderness, like, there are a couple special characters that like, 
actually have things that they want to do, like go uh, maybe rescue their family from slavers or or get revenge on a certain faction. If it just so happens to align with like what we're already sort of doing, or if it would make for more interesting gameplay, I may go ahead and whoa, he's looking crazy. I may go ahead and uh oh, did I just change everything? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, where did the shirt go? Okay, there we go. That's weird. Um, so anyway, yeah, for the sake of making things more interesting, I, I might, um... Swing to look normal. Um, for the sake of keeping things interesting, I may make uh, exceptions to that rule. But I just want to see... see see where it goes, you know, we'll, it's one of those things we'll play by ear, we'll see... We got the nose about right. Uh, yeah, what's the tilt at? That should be good. Okay, I like to give him like a more serious demeanor. It doesn't have to necessarily mean he's angry, but let's see. There we go. Bow position. There we go. That way he doesn't look too angry. He just looks more serious. And you just tilt it a little bit like that and it gives him kind of Japanese thing going on there. Okay. just a little bit more there we go that kind of gives him like the Japanese look there I hope that doesn't offend anybody definitely not going for any like stereotypes or whatever just trying to give him more of like an Asian kind of look just to go with that I do like my people to have beards so let's see I want him to have kind of a rough look just because of his uh, past here. That might be a little too wild. That's kind of cool. That one might do. The beards look better in game too. This is just, I don't know if it's because of my graphics or what. Let's uh, give him one of those. And then just get some good hair to go along with it. Still not sure if I'm feeling that. This one, I mean, it looks kind of maybe. I don't know. It might be a little too feminine for my taste. But I want it. I definitely want him to have that feel. It's kind of cool. I mean, it, terrible uh, and I think it's the hairstyles are the same for like male and female they're you know all the styles are the same that would be kind of cool I mean 
I don't know. Let's go straight bald. Might be the way to go. Alright, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just settle for either this one. This one kind of looks cool. You know, we'll go with this one. Um, oh man, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm gonna go with this one. That's fine. Perfect. It'll just be like some kind of rugged samurai. Yeah. Even that one might not be so bad. Go ahead and make a decision so I can start playing. All right, and then we're gonna name his name is our like. Vega Bond. So let's do. do him. I, I got it. We'll name him Kenshi. There we go. Confirm. Here we are. So I started off here at this lone shack. It's in the hub. Okay, I'm at. Oh, I see. The lone shack is right there. So I'm at the hub. This is my starting location. My faction is nameless, and I've got a 20k bounty on me from the Holy Nation. Uh, okay, let's see what stats I start off with. So I've got this... Whoa. He looks different. So I start off with this pretty cool sword. I don't know what the stats are on this. This is a Nodachi model number edge type 3. Pretty decent cutting damage stats, and it looks like I've, it gives me an attack bonus of four. And then I've got the black cloth shirt, some ninja pants, and then ninja rags. The ninja rags, that's kind of a bummer. It shows a hat, but he's... The character doesn't have one on. Oh no. Hope it's not just my crappy graphics card or whatever. It's not sure. I had to put the graphics on low just so I could stream this, so... The gameplay is more what we're looking at here in the storyline. Um, let's see what his stats are. Okay, so he's got a little bit of strength, no toughness. How does he have minus? Why does he have minus skills? Is that probably just from the weapon that I'm using? Man, he looks like he sucks. Stealth. Why is stealth down? He's supposed to ninja. What's going on here? Okay, I start off with a med kit. One thing I did, you do get hungry in this game. You see I've got my hunger bar here. I set that all the way to the um, the uh, setting so that I wouldn't be hungry very often. I think it's eight. That way I don't, that doesn't become a primary focus. I wanna get this, you know, I wanna, I wanna just play through and get this to be like a, a fun story playthrough. So let's go ahead and get started. I think the first thing that I need to do is, probably get some shoes as far as priorities go I think that's a that's gonna be the best I have a little bit of money now the hub doesn't really have any shops um, there's a bar here let's see cool thing about this game too is you can detach your camera over here I think is like a little shinobi thieves it's like a faction hideout um, which I think if you pay 10k you get in there and they offer some benefits like they'll if you get in a fight they'll watch your back it actually might not be a bad idea considering like the kind of um, uh, playthrough that I'm doing here to maybe join them eventually uh, muster up that 10k and put that towards joining the shinobi thieves because if I get into like a bar fight or something like that I think they back me up on that so I would have a little extra protection so oh. That didn't go as planned. There we go. And I didn't mean to do that either. Okay, so in the bar you can see, if you've never played this before, it's really cool. There's different characters in here. This looks like a recruitable character. These guys are called skeletons. Um, oh, it looks like it's auto-saving. These guys are called skeletons right here. And they're like pretty much hated by, it seems like, quite a few of the different factions. Um, this one looks like he's recruitable though. I, well, okay, only 3,000. So I don't have the money and I'm not really interested. So I'm gonna try and like limit who I recruit. So like I said, I wanna have like no more than one companion at a time. So, um, sorry, I'm just checking out the different people in here. 
Oh, he just told me to scram. That's cool. Um, there's like various mercenaries and different kinds of people. This guy's a bar thug. That's weird. Okay. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to try and like only recruit people who are, you know, if I come across a person who's kind of already got a mission, I might join them or help them out. Let's see what this guy has. Do some business, trade with him. So he's got some cool weapons here. It looks like pole arms, Naginata. Uh, I don't think I really need any of this stuff. I want to get him some shoes, but with a hundred cats, that's a currency by the way, the C stands for cats, I'm not really going to be able to afford anything. Things are a little expensive, um, so starting off with nothing, that's not going to be too great. So I think what I'll do, I've got a bounty with who? I've got a bounty with the United Cities and the Holy Nation. So those are cities that I want to avoid. There are, I do know of a few cities. I'm going to name my faction real quick. If you go to squad, this is like your, oh, that's your squad. My faction, I'm just going to name it. My faction is going to be Lone. No, I think that's already thing. Faction will be Ronin. And then the squad will do the same. There we go. Cool. And then that shows right here my squad. And then Kenshi, that's his name. Uh, yeah, and that's basically so he's like some sort of outlaw, masterless samurai that stumbled across this. I guess it's a powerful sword. I mean, oh, it's worth a lot. Could always sell it and get some shoes, but wouldn't be very wise. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little familiar with this game. I did do one playthrough um, just in my own time. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Uh, so I know this city down here would be safe for me to go. The Holy Nation is going to be in this area. And I think they're a little bit in here too. So I want to avoid this area for now because I'm not very strong. I don't know how long my bounty is going to last with them. Um, and I'm not sure if there's bounty hunters in the game yet. It's still an alpha. But I think that's going to be, if it's not already incorporated, something that's going to be a part of the game. So I want to... Probably just be careful, um, don't want to get caught, don't want to get enslaved or captured or killed. So I'm going to head to this town, uh, which is run by the Shek people, which is a race of corn people who are kind of have like a warrior culture, um, kind of like Vikings in a sense, I, I guess would be a, a nice comparison to that person. You'll see like a lot of different people on the road, like traders. I think there's a faction called Tech Hunters, and they're just kind of like neutral people. Um, I start off pretty slow. Eventually, as you run, your athletic skill will go up. So you see mine's already at 94, 96, so it increases as you run. Eventually, you get to be pretty fast, which is nice. And then also, as you carry heavy things, um, your toughness goes up. Uh, or I'm sorry, your strength goes up. Um, and so when your strength goes up, you're able, your uh, weight limit here uh, is able to go up. So right now the most I can carry is 18 uh, kg, but as I train uh, strength up, I'll be able to carry more. Here's a rock. If I wanted to get some more money, I could mine that, which there are, there, I know there's some rocks uh, outside of Squin here. So I just want to get close to Squin just so I know I'm, I'm somewhere safe, make sure First of all, that the Shek people aren't going to try and capture me or, or arrest me or kill me or anything. So that's the first thing I want to be sure of. And then once we see uh, what their disposition is towards me, I might do a little mining outside of the city uh, to make some money, get myself some shoes, um, and then begin... Well, I know right off the bat what I'm going to need to focus is getting getting myself into combat scenarios. Now, the only downside to training combat in Kenshi is there's not really any good ways to train combat aside from exploiting. Uh, and what I mean by that is there's various uh, bandits that run around that are trying to kill you or that will try to kill you. Um, and if you lure them to a city while they're trying to attack you, usually the city guards will jump in and help. So you can have a little backup as you're getting that combat experience. There is always a chance that they could knock you out uh, during the fight. I mean, there's various things that could happen. 
but I feel like that's going to be my best bet for now. There's not really any other way to combat train aside from like creating dummies and crafting and everything, which is not really something I want to get into, uh, at least not in this playthrough or not quite yet. So I think I'm going to fast forward. I'll keep the camera locked and if we come across anybody, I'll definitely slow it down and we'll just see what happens. I, I want this to be pretty organic. Um, just to, you know, think of it like a story. You know, we're just following this Kenshi, uh, making this, you know, helping him make decisions as he's trying to survive in this uh, desert wasteland. So, anyway, once we get to the city, I think we're gonna call it quits on this video. I uh, thank you for watching. Um, you can subscribe if you were interested to see more of what happens to Kenshi and his travels. I know this one. Is off to a bit of a slow start, but I did want to show for those who haven't seen Kenshi uh, before. Um, I wanted them to see the character creation. There's a lot more options I could have done. There's uh, a few other races that I could have picked and everything. Um, I just want to keep it simple for this one. Go with a human. Um, but if you know if he dies, or if you guys would rather see a different kind of uh, play style or playthrough. Um, just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to accommodate. I want to, uh, mainly I just want to get the game out there. I want people to see it and support it. If you like the way this game looks, go ahead and uh, check it out on Steam. It's I think it's $19.99 US dollars. And it's, it's really fun. There's a lot you can do um, and it seems like they're constantly working on it. Uh, so yeah, just uh, let me know if you guys have any comments or concerns and... Um, Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.